Hi everyone, welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make jambalaya. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and the full step-by-step -step recipe can be found on eatmerecipes.co.za. First off, you want to start by cooking the rice. Add the rice to a bowl. Rinse the rice until the water runs clear. Add the rinsed rice to a pot. Cover the rice with water. Allow the rice to boil on high heat. You may cook the rice however you prefer to cook it. I cook my rice by allowing it to build up the starch, which is the white foam at the top. Thereafter, I rinse that off, fill the pot with clean water and put it back to boil until more starch boils up and then continue doing this rinsing and filling up with clean water until the rice is almost cooked. But like I said, you can cook the rice however you prefer. When the rice is almost cooked and I'm not going to rinse it again, add in turmeric powder, add in salt, give it a stir and allow it to boil until the rice is fully cooked. Once the rice is cooked, it should be soft but not mushy. Remove the rice from the heat, strain the rice in a colander and set it aside. Next, you want to place your sausages or chorizos into a pan. It's quite difficult in South Africa to get chorizo, so I opted for mutton sausages. Pour in a little water. Place the pan on the stove top on medium heat. Allow the sausages to steam in the water until the water evaporates. Once the water has evaporated, allow the sausages or chorizos to fry in its own oil. Remove the pan from the heat. Slice up the sausages or chorizos and set it aside until ready to use. Next you want to chop an onion, blend your tomatoes and chop up some colourful bell peppers. Add cooking oil to a pot. Add in your chopped onions. Add in a few sprigs of thyme. Mix well. Allow the onions to sauté until translucent. Thereafter, add in turmeric powder, coriander or dhania powder, cumin or jeera powder, chili powder, and ginger and garlic paste. Mix well. Allow the spices to simmer for 30 seconds. Add in the blended tomatoes. Whole chilies of your choice. I'm using bird's eye chilies. Mix that up well. Cover with the lid and allow the tomatoes to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you would notice the tomatoes have thickened. Pour in chicken stock. Add salt to taste. Mix well. Cover with the lid and allow it to cook for 15 to 20 minutes or until most of the liquid has evaporated. Next, you want to add in the bell peppers. Add in the sliced chorizo or sausages. Give that a mix.
Cover and allow it to cook for 5 minutes to allow the flavours to infuse. Give it a quick stir. Next I add in some hot sauce. This step is optional. Add in the cooked rice. Mix until everything is well incorporated. If there's still excess liquid in the pot, you can leave it on medium heat and continue stirring until the liquid thickens. Garnish with freshly chopped coriander or dhania. This jambalaya is ready to be served. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please remember that the list of ingredients can be found in the description box below and there you will also find the link for the full step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. Enjoy!